Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. The school year may be over, but local school officials have been hard at work making final decisions on next year's budget. State law requires school boards to adopt a budget by June 30th of each year. And Delane Cleveland joins us now with more on what sort of impact the budget will have on the Osseo School District. Delane? Mike, the Osseo School Board approved next year's budget on June 13th. And one of the key things to note is that they're spending about $4 million more than they're bringing in. That's, of course, an area of concern. We, wouldn't, we do not want to have budgets that are in a deficit spending position, meaning expenditures exceeding revenues. In Osseo area schools, and I think it's probably true for most school districts, we look out five years, and we have long planned for this position of deficit spending. Patricia Magnuson is the Executive Director of Finance and Operations for the district. She says that when the voters approved the operating referendum in 2013, the district knew that expenditures would start to surpass revenue at about this time. However, the district has money in the general fund just for that purpose. It was at $60 million, and now that fund will be at $55.5 million. The reason the amount isn't lower is because the state legislature approved a 2% increase in funding. But as expenses have gone up due to salaries and benefits for teachers and school staff, district officials want parents to know that they have a long-range view of budget priorities. We're in a strong fiscal position, um, that there's a rigorous process. There's places for parents to stay in touch with what's happening with the school district and that we are watching well into the future to ensure that we have stability and um, that we are planning ahead for funding needs. Meanwhile, in the Robbinsdale School District, they started out with a $6.8 million deficit. District officials have since approved reductions to make up the difference, including cutting the equivalent of 46 full-time employees. The reductions won't affect student-to-teacher ratios, though those will be maintained for next year. 